Hey guys, it's Shadow Guard, and this has been a long time coming. This gun has taken me quite a long time to finish. Mostly because when I got it, I got it in pieces, and uh, I started to finish it, but I encountered a couple problems with it, particularly the breach, and I just kind of stopped. And then a couple days ago, I decided to pick it back up, and I finally finished it. So here it is, the Nerf Proto Drake. Now, you might recognize this. I got it off of XOPS. I actually did a video on it. I think it was my last third video. I don't remember. But anyway, um, and I showed you all the specifics there, so I'm not really going to go that much more into detail. All I'll say is that besides the obvious Maverick integration, it has a K25 spring in the back with a stock spring, and it has a brass breech with all dead weight removed or dead space, however you want to say it, but, um, so yeah, this gun was the first real plunger tube based system gun that I used a brass breech on. The last one, or the only other brass breech gun I've done, was the Jolt, and that's not really a brass breech, that's a brass barrel. So this is, I guess, my first brass breech based gun. So, being that it was my first, I encountered a couple problems with it, you know, because I'm not really, I wasn't really familiar with how the breach worked and everything, but I think I got most of them settled. Um, I had a lot of problems with the gun's priming, but I got all everything fixed, and that's why I have, this hasn't been uploaded. I think I uploaded that video um, that showed all the pieces in, like, November, and it's January now is why I haven't uploaded it because of all those problems but let's just go ahead and shoot it as a very nice pull I probably should have put the clip in first because you know how these are there we go okay so let's go ahead and shoot it I don't know if you saw that this thing gets like solid 80 feet you know very nice but there are a couple complications with the breach. For example, elite darts right here don't work just because the breach is too small. I think Xop said he was originally going to make it to where it was slug accepting, and that's why the breach is not small, or maybe it's just because of the brass used. But anyway, elites don't work, and um, what else? You have to be careful when you're priming it because... Like I said before, there's a problem with the um, dart actually chambering, and the reason for that is because the spring was compressed, and what I didn't realize is when you prime it, you, have, you can actually prime it back a little bit further, and that is what you have to do to chamber the dart. I think I have a dart in here. Is it in there? Check. No, it's not. So you have to make sure that when you do it, I can actually... There, that ought to do it. That, yep, there we go. There we are. Let's shoot. Yep, very nicely. Now, if you watch any of my other videos, you probably have are wondering what the jam door is doing on here. And there's a reason for that. Generally, I don't like jam doors. But the exception is on painted guns. Because if you don't have the jam door on, you have all of the open spaces, you know, you, you have all of the moving parts, the breech, the barrel, darts, all of that. And unless you want to spray paint that, and even when it is spray painted, it doesn't really look very professional. You know, I think this looks better. If this wasn't spray painted, I would not have the jam door on here. My dead shot, which is the other long shot I have, isn't spray painted, and it doesn't have the jam door. Specifically, the long shots jam doors I don't like because you can't see anything. The newer jam doors you can kind of see but not really. So you know I really think jam doors are kind of stupid unless you're using them on a painted gun. I think then again some people like to have them and just it's all a matter of opinion. Now before I go I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the Maverick. I'm trying to remember I don't think I really hardcore range tested. I think I just shot it down the hallway and it got like 30 or 40 feet but it's about the length of my hallway, so, you know, that's not really 
something to say that that's the actual distance. Let me see if it'll... I've also been having a couple problems with this dart rotation that I need to fix. Let me see, we'll get it to shoot this time. There we go. There we are. When it does shoot, it gets, like I said, 30 to 40 feet, which isn't bad for a Maverick. I don't understand what's wrong with this Maverick. It's not really working super good. I think um, I need to go around and just uh, re-grease the O-ring and the plunger system inside. I think that'll probably do the trick. So yeah, very nice gun overall. Xops did most of the paint job. I did this side, except for the red. I did all of the black on this side. And one other thing I'd like to point out real quick is that a lot of nerfers, when they're spray painting, they say to use frog tape. Well, Xops use frog tape on this side. I doubt you can see it. I'm going to try to get it in the sun. But it um, it's like cracked almost. It's got like that glossy, well not really glossy, but kind of scraped type, I guess, look to it. It's kind of hard to see on camera. But then, like, you go to this side, and you see it looks perfectly smooth. Now, this side actually used just the stock Bargain brand painter's tape. This is the side that uses frog tape. Now, I'm not an expert in any of this, but if, I am, if, if I'm thinking correctly, it has something to do with the way that the frog tape uses. Uh, because I, I believe it uses, like, a gel. It, like, turns the paint into a gel so that it doesn't bleed. And I think it's something with the chemical that does that that makes this really cracked and scraped look when you peel it off. And just the regular painter tape doesn't do that. You know, if you know the answer, post that in the comments below. But anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. There's not really much else to talk about. I mean, really, it's a pretty basic mod. The only reason I'm really impressed with it is because it's the first brass breach that I've done. You know, so that's really the only... Thing that really makes this special to me but other people are gonna find this really generic but that's okay I'm impressed with it I've done a good job I think you know I think this is a really good gun and if you want to see the video of my original gosh I'm really not I'm not into it today but if you want to see the original video that shows all the parts and everything when this gun was not assembled you can check that out in my season 2 volume 2 playlist and that's gonna do it for me guys so you know rate this gun rate this video if you like it say so and until next time I'm out thanks for watching